So everyone able to see my screen? Yes, sir. So last week uh, we are designed, right? And we are saved in the our sheet. So, uh, like we want to means, just we'll click on from the open and it will open from the where we are saved. Last time we are saved from the load test, ninth month, fifth date, 2024, we are saved. So, so this one we want to open, just click that and open and you can observe. So, this file it is saving as a dot .lrs. So scenario, right? We are shared like to uh, save this scenario. That is why it is saved as a dot LRS. So just you can open. Like what are the changes we did and uh, everything is ready. Automatically everything it will open. So means for example, every day we no need to do from this kind of things. Means we can do from this like this. Okay. Means we are doing from the different thing. Means we can design from the as per our convenient also. Okay. So as same to the yeah yeah so I will explain from before that okay we can do from the different kinds of testings okay. We need to do from the different kinds of testing. So what testing we can do means baseline test. And load test. And uh, like uh, spike test. And stress test. And so test or we can call it as a endurance endurance test okay So, means, for example, one scenario we are designed for here, you are doing from the, for example, these four scripts you are doing. So, these four scripts you are doing means, only from these four scripts, we need to perform from the, this all kinds of test. Okay, baseline test, load test, spike test, stress test, endurance test. So, why we need to do from this all things means, baseline test nothing but is a, like uh, we can call it as a n and nothing but uh, baseline nothing but it's a 2024 load we want to test live nothing but it's a baseline test like exactly for current year how the application behavior will be there we want test means so baseline test we can do load test means we need to do from the x load it means one x load so this n is there, right? You want to from the load test means we need to n plus one, n plus two, n plus three. So n plus three called is a load test is a one x load. How we'll get this means? So, for example, we'll see here. So, example, I did from the one document, okay. So, 
everyone able to see here? Everyone able to see? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Okay. So for here, you can observe here. So now we can see here, this is the baseline and future growth as assumptions and peak load nothing but that is the our X load. So this uh, baseline we can consider a N year, nothing but this year 2024. For example, this will be uh, okay 2024. Okay. okay, that's fine. Okay, 2024. After that, 2025, 2026, 2027. So means future growth, how the their application, we need test from the N plus 3. Like current year, 2024 plus 3, 2027, how the application behavior, we need test. That is the N plus 3. So this load, how we'll calculate means based on from the application growth. Okay. For example, this is the application transactions. For hourly, we are getting from the this many. For example, we are getting from the three lakh seventy four thousand four hundred. You are getting okay. So this one, how will calculate from the n plus one means this one plus into three percent of growth of the every year of the application. So that is why three by hundred I give it. So d eight means this is the d eight. What is the Okay, load and we are doing from the D8 plus along with the 3% 3 by 100 plus D8 we are doing. So everything then that is coming to the N plus 1. Again, what you got N plus 1, we need to N plus 1 means again E8, E8 nothing but this value. E8 into 3% plus again E8. That is the uh, this one, and again, this one. This is the what F8 F8 into 3 by 100 plus F8. So, finally, you got from the this is the hourly value you are getting from the future. So, we need to calculate from the application growth. Okay, for example, I given three percentage means every application is not like that. So, based on from the like we are not decide, okay, this application 3%, the application 10% is 20%. We are not decide, okay. Who will decide means our business team will be decide, okay. This application growth is a 3%, the application growth is a 10%. So we should ask from the business team. Once we'll get that business team and this uh, hourly values also we need to ask from the hourly value mark, monthly value, okay. Anything we need to identify the through business team only. We are ourselves, we can't decide, okay. So that is why we should ask from the business only from all the details. Okay, uh, so like that, this N plus 3 we are considered as a our load test is a 1x load. So, for example, now you can observe, uh, we are need to do from the different kinds of test. See, you can observe here baseline test. Okay, and peak load test, and spike test, and stress test, and soap test. For example, you can observe you are doing from the users 24. That is the baseline. So, peak load users 26, how you got? How you got that count to means based on from the 3% of the load, you are getting from the 26 users from the, when you are getting from the load test. So, spike test nothing but, so it is a into 3x. 1x is the, this one. So, 3x means 26 into 3, 78. See? And next, we are doing from the stress test. Stress test nothing but 6x. 
one x is the twenty six. Three x six x means one fifty six years. Again, soak test. Soak test means is same as a peak load test only. Same one x load, same users, but the difference is the load test we need to execute from the one hour, but soak test we can execute from the eight into twenty four hours. Same load here. How many users you are doing? Same number of users we are doing from the here also. Okay, so like that we need to do from the this kind of users. See, you can observe users will be different from the like test to test. See, this is the users one x load. This is the users from the three x load. This is the users from the six x load. This is again one x load. Okay, so based on that we can do from the baseline also uh, like uh, one hour duration only. And load test also we can do from the one hour only. Spike test we can do from the one hour, and stress test we can do from the one hour. And for this endurance test we can do from the eight into twenty four hours. So why we are doing from this kind of all testings? As a performance engineer, why we need to do from the all kind of test means? Going to the baseline, like current year, how the application behavior you need to test. That is the baseline test. Load test means we need to test the in the application growth in the future expectation. How the application growth will be there? How the application behavior is there? That is the load test. Spike test we are doing from the how, how much three x load? How much three x load? So three x load you are doing means spike test. So spike nothing but we need to abnormal condition like you need to increase the one to three x again down one x again three x for example we can see here I think we have yeah see uh, yeah spike stress we can design from the like this see spike test okay see what I am doing means 1x load first. For example, 1x means 10 users. Again, I am increasing from the 3x load. So, means we are increasing from the 3x. Means it is a 3x means how many? 30 users. 30 again, users. I am decreasing from the 1x load. 1x means again 10 users load. How much time it is executing? 12 minutes. Each and every, this 1x load it is executing from the 12 minutes. After that, this 3x load it is executing 12 minutes again 1x load again you are increasing from the 3x load again you are downing finally you are down total will be five spikes we are doing total will be one hour means why we are up and down we are doing why we are doing from this kind of things means real time also what will happen one hour should be like spike one hour should be less. One hour should be again spike. One hour should be again live. So if it is the application, immediately it will go to the high volume. When it is a decrease from the like low volume also, our application is sustaining or not. That point of view, as a performance test engineer, we should do the spike test. Okay, got it everyone? Spike test nothing but we need to test the application behavior, how the abnormal condition going to the stress test. So stress, nothing but we need to give from the some stress to the application. Means we need to find the breakpoint of the application. Breakpoint means, for example, Facebook users will be 5 lakh users up to 5. After 5 lakh users, 5 lakh 10 users also, their application will be cross. So that should be, we need to identify, okay, your application, if you use from the file act one user also your application will be cross. Could you please increase from the your configuration details like CPU, memory, what are the configuration details you need? You can increase from then. You are able to like if it is a number of user will be access more than five lakh users also, your application is fine. So we need to identify the breakpoint of the application we are doing from the stress test. How we are doing from the stress test means first you are doing from the 
10 minutes test is the 1x. After that, again, one more 10 users you are increasing. Then 10 plus 10, 20 means 2x load. Again, 3x load, 4x load. You are observed in the 4x load means 40 users. Here, after 41 user, your application is crass. So we should inform to the team, okay, your application up to 40 users is fine. If you more than then means this is the your application break point. We need to identify the break point of the application. Clear? So now endurance test. So this why we are doing from the long duration. So application what will happen? 24 by 7 application will be open. Everyone will be anytime you can use with the minimum load. Okay. Same way we are also one day we need to execute from the this all scripts and we need to observe while during the test we are getting from the any errors, any memory leakages happening, what kind of issues we are facing we need to identify. So that is point of view we are doing from the endurance test means we need to do from the long duration test to identify the memory leakages or issues. Memory leakage is nothing but so when you are doing from the like number of users sometimes memory is not uh, sufficient or some memory leakages will happen. So that kind of things is happening or not we need to observe in the endurance test. So, once as a performance test engineer, okay, you are prepared the test plan, okay, and after that workload model, workload model. So, workload model nothing but, so before execution itself, you need to prepare from the like this document, one document, okay. So, based on this, okay, this is the NFR details. And this is the workload model high level, like maximum, how many users you are doing from the baseline, how many users you are doing from the load test, spike test, stress test, and soak test. So based on this, we need to design from the our scenario in controller or performance center. If you want again, like what are the scope of the APS? What are the scope of the scenarios? We need to give from the here. And it is a existing or new, you need to put SLA. So I told you from the response time, if class from the more than two seconds, client will be not accept. That is the SLA of the client, service level agreement. So what is the service level agreement also we need to give from the here. And expected TPC, nothing but it's a baseline users will be count. So based on from this, we need to prepare from the again for volume workload model, baseline test, peak load test, spike and stress and soap test. Now I know from the all the details, then what I can do, I will easily, okay, this many users, we need to design the baseline. Okay, fine. Peak load, this many users. Spike test, this many users. Stress test, this many users. So, so everything I will know, then Directly, I will go to the controller and I will decide. Okay. So, now what we can do means we'll execute the execution. Okay. First of all, we are doing from the, we are done from the, for example, this is the baseline or uh, like load test you can consider. Okay. What or maybe. So, we are doing from the like, uh, one hour duration we can do, but here I'm not doing from the under one hour because we don't have time. So that is why I doing from the five minutes only. But you can try with the one hour also. So during the test, what we can do also very important. So if you are doing one hour, so you should be monitor the test. Like you can go to the run tab and we are getting from the any fails, any errors, how the transaction response time like is as per client expectation we are meeting or not we need to check from the this space along with the, this very important thing 
CPU memory also application servers. CPU memory is also it is a uh, more than eighty percent is crossed or not. You need to check. So, for example, if you open from the task manager, so you can observe in performance. See, CPU is a forty three percent. Miss, without you are doing from the any kind of test, that is the utilization. And memory is a forty seven percent already used. Okay, same way we are uh, how the some monitoring tools will be there. Performance, app dynamics, side scope, dynatrix. We have the different type of the monitoring tools. So using that we should monitor from the okay server one. What is the CPU utilization? It is a forty two, or it is a more than eighty percent is more than less than 80 percent is or not we need to check and we need to well during the test we should monitor and when you are reporting the report also we need to mention from the cpu memory also why because cpu is the 80 percent is utilization memory is the 89 percent is utilization happen you don't have from the memory then what will happen your application will be like browsing 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 will happen like you will get from the response time will be high as same to the you will get from the errors also so that is why server side start six we can call it as a cpu memory network this all we can call it as a server side star six cpu memory it is crossing from the more than 80 percentage or not we need to monitor okay now we'll start scenario and we'll observe Okay, test. Okay. If you click from the S right, do you want to load the new script iteration? Yes. Okay. So now you can observe, sir, 25 users will be, see, 31 users, increasing the users, see, 35 users. So based on from the, we are given think time and all, right? We are getting from the errors also. What that errors also we need to know, miss. If you click this, so I think uh, server we are not uh, okay. See, you can observe you are got some errors, transactions will be failing. Okay, see this script like user in it or itself. Is a tool transaction will be failed. Okay, so we'll see. Okay, no worry. We'll see if it is the three percent more, then we'll re execute. See, you are re executing. See, you can observe. So, during the test, all users will be run, and uh, during the test, what I told how the running users will be graph is going. Running users means number of users. And uh, apart from this response time, each and every transaction average response time, how much it is the more than two seconds or not, you should be understand here. See this some best store application, these are more than this. And apart from this, we should monitor from the how the it's going, how the throughput is generating. Apart from this, we should monitor from the CPU memory also. So you can observe last time when we have seen how much it is CPU memory is there. It is a 43. 43. But now it is a increasing from the number of C memory also. It is a 48 percentage. Okay. So during the test, we should monitor from the okay, it is crossing from the more than 80 percentage or not. We should monitor this also. And uh, main thing will be during the test, you should be main we need to analyze the results like how the test is going we are getting any errors what kind of errors we are getting okay this all will be important flight booking is a failed why because already i told right we need from the server from the flight booking application but we are not uh, open right that is why it is failed that's fine okay
so our test will be still executing you can observe also transaction response time will be increasing like transactions are increasing and how many it's it is generating we can observe our test as of now 4 minutes 22 seconds is happened so based on that we should be monitor from the test like this and uh, okay will it will execute the test okay now we need to design the scenario baseline and load test and soap test should be same like this only we can design but going to the spike stress we need to design from the like this see 1x load 2x 3x again 1x again 3x 1x so we need to do and stress means we need to do from the 1x 2x 3x 4x 5x 6x so we need to increase from the like this means when you are doing from the scripting also like designing also we need to design from the like this but baseline and load test we can design from the same like this only okay we can do from the every four users based on from the number of users every four users uh, five seconds or not run for duration one hour and the stop condition also you need to give so your test is, is completed and you can calculate this uh, transactions are more than three percent is no right very not more than three percent means okay so based on from the this error count also some companies will accept from the three percent some companies will be two percent and bank clients will be there banking sector they will will be zero tolerance if it's a one error also they will not accept from the test means what we can do if not they will not accept what is the issue you need to identify that issue in script level and you need to fix that Again, you can execute. That's it. Okay, they will not accept means Okay, no problem. What we can do? What is the issue? For example, we are open this transactions. See, it is a which transaction it is failed. It is showing from the here clearly. Two all transactions is failed. So, why it is failed means so we are uh, like uh, flight booking application server is we are not okay open. That is why it is failed. So it is a zero tolerance it will be need from the banking applications. Even one error also they will not accept from the, okay? So uh, like uh, um, low test baseline and so test will be, they will not accept. But stress or spike test should be less than uh, like 2%, uh, okay? Then they will accept, okay? The accept criteria should be like company to company will be variation. It's clear, everyone. So now we'll see the results. So results where we can see in the load runner analysis, one of the component. Okay, so its the results will be loading. We should wait from the until results will be load. Like it will come from the like this. Like it will be. It should wait from the hundred percent. Means all results will be. It will be load. So it will be, we should wait from the until 100% is completed. Automatically our results will be good. In this space, we can see the runtime, like what time we are executed, total duration. And uh, these are the top transaction response time also. It will be displayed here. So we can observe also this space store, pet booking, launch URL. This is the taking from the 2.33. 
seconds and uh, tester pet booking is fine okay only from this one transaction is taking from the high response time and if you observe we need to observe from the main thing in this scenario here so any one of the transaction is uh, more than our sla or not we need to check everything is sla fine then fine otherwise for example this transaction response time could be high so why this transaction response time could be high we need to analyze what cause of the issue like it is a cpu memory issue or it is a network issue or it's the application side issue or it is a code level issue otherwise it should be database side issue so we need to dig that issue we need to identify the what cause of that issue so because they will not accept from the our results so apart from the summary report we can see from the all things in the interview questions they will ask what are the things will be there in the summary report like top transaction response times and uh, we can see the stats like how many users you are executed and the total throughput how much it is generated average throughput and total hits how many average hits how many we can see the how many pass transaction how many fail apart from this in this transaction section we can see the minimum average maximum and 90 percentage pass fail stop okay actually some companies will be see the only from the average part okay so i don't want from the actions end because in the action because i am not put from the anything action as transaction because in the within the action we have the transactions came right so we don't want to means we can click from the this filter button okay what are the trial we don't want you can select that and user uh, end also i don't want user in it so you can select that here we can give from the not equal then you can click on okay and it will remove from the in our analysis report from that action and all because we need from the exactly transactions only we are important see now you can see all transactions will be it is display and you can see here this is also important in the transaction summary report http response codes so already explained what is the 200 what is the 200 we are sending the request you are getting from the response means so successfully response we are getting from the 200 or 201 302 means some redirections means actually it is the as a developer only it is a redirection will happen this is not error but this should be error 500 nothing but internal server errors like it is application issue because of that that error you are observed and apart from this we can see the graphs also running users how users will be running how users will be down and how the it's going okay it's will be teeth pattern okay and throughput throughput also same like as a okay it was again transaction summary like each and every transaction how many transactions generated and average response time nothing but this is the average transaction which see this one if we elated this so this is the happen from the 1.1 and this is the happen from the 1.2 so means we can see the with the graphical oriented also from the using from the average transaction response time okay and uh, summary report for here based on from the companies already i told right average only they will concentrate means average the within sla then fine some companies will be 90 percentile 95 99 also they will see means how will give from get the this 90 95 means here we can say for example 95 
what is the 90 percentile 99 percentile means 90 percent of the transactions are as per within our sla or not it will be displayed see for example i given from the 95 see you can observe now it is 95 so you can observe 95 also these all transactions will be fine only from one transaction only it is uh, taking from the high response time and bankings they will be 99 percent should be is a within sla they are expecting then we need to see the 99 percentile also see if you see the 99 percentile see okay 99 percent is also maximum transactions will be fine only one transaction only it should be high so means based on from the companies they will be accepted from the average or 90 or 95 or 99 also they will accept means if you will they will ask 99 will give from the 99 results along with this table only here we need to give from the 99 percentage just to take on screenshot and highlight from the 